All right, so now we're going to go over the display settings and how to uh, use it effectively. So when you look at your display initially, what you're going to see here is the kilometers or miles per hour, whatever you have it set at. You have as well the battery level. So it has one has four bars or I believe five bars. Actually, it's going to be full. So this battery right here that you see is about a half level. When you press the top function button right here, you're going to get the different speed levels. So I'll just go that, through that quickly. So when you have no circle here, it's going to be at the lowest uh, speed and power, power output level, uh, to be correct. So when you click it again, you're going to get a blue circle, which will give you medium power, which will take the scooter to about 20 kilometers per hour, the X8 anyways. When you press it again, uh, you're going to get to your fastest setting when the circle is red, so the, the most power output. Now, if you want to get into advanced settings, all you got to do is simply hold both, uh, both power and function together. When you get to P0, you, wanna, you can press the power button to get into it. And then to toggle between it, you press the function button, so zero and one. So as you can see, the P0 is going to be the difference between whether you want it at set to kilometers per hour or miles per hour. So one is obviously miles per hour and zero is kilometers per hour. We're going to stick to kilometers per hour. Once we're happy with that, we press the power button again and we can move forward by pressing the function button to P1. Your P1 setting is cruise control. So this is actually a very neat feature. Uh, essentially with cruise control, when you're holding the throttle for about five seconds, five seconds down, it will hold it in its memory and, and, and maintain the power output. So not necessarily the speed, but the power output. So depending on the grade of uh, the road that you're traveling on, it will, uh, it will hold, that, uh, hold that power or hold that speed if you're on a flat. Um, so when you are in P1, zero will be non-cruise control. So if you don't want to have that cruise control function, you could turn it off by setting this to zero or one will have that cruise control on. And when cruise control is on, you'll know because there is an audible uh, beeping noise that says that it is now cruising. So personally, uh, I'm not a, such a huge fan of cruise control, but a lot of people are. Uh, I'll leave it at zero for now as non-cruise. So P2 is, this, this setting is very important. It's your auto start setting. So what the auto start setting means is how you would like your scooter to, to engage with when you, when you press the throttle. So there's two settings, either there's non-speed uh, auto set, which means that you can just touch the throttle, even at a standstill, the scooter will move. Personally, I think that's a little bit dangerous because when you turn it on, somebody touches it by accident or even yourself, you touch it by accident, the scooter will take off. And now, as you can see, I'm touching, I'm putting the th throttle down, it's not moving. Um, so we have, I have it set actually at number one, which is non-auto uh, start. So it's, it's called kick start. So you have to actually move the scooter to engage the throttle. So I'll just, I'll actually demonstrate that actually for you as well right now. So right now, no moving. Move it a little, it goes. And I will change the setting now as well to zero to show you that it does, does go. See, since I changed it, it goes from a standstill no matter what. So I'm gonna get back to that P2 setting and change this back to one. So now we change that back to a kick start. P3 is gonna be the, your diameter size of the tires. So by default set to 10, we do have 10 inch tires, so we're gonna leave it at 10. It doesn't really do anything other than the fact that this is what calculates the speed that you're going. 
by the size of your tires and how fast they're rotating. Okay, and then we have uh, P4 is your next setting. Sorry. P4 is the speed setting of the max gear. So this will control how fast, how fast it goes. Sorry, let me get back into P4. So right now the max speed is set to 25. But we can, since the scooter is capable of 30, we're gonna we're gonna move this to FF, which means no speed limit, which will hit 30. Uh, if you want, if you have a, a child and that you want to ride the scooter and you want to set it a little bit slower, you can by setting it, giving it a, a max speed of 20 kilometers. So again, you got 20, 25, or an, no limit, which is 30. So we're going to leave it at the maximum level. And that's uh, pretty much it for this display.